was like singing, but yeah, I started writing music when I was about 13. And how many of them, are you doing any of them songs from when you was 13 this um, evening? One of them, yeah. Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. And how do you go about writing songs? Um, I don't know, really. I, ha I sort of have a certain mood that I'm in when I start writing a song, so I don't know, because I write about sort of experiences that I've had myself, so I don't know. Autobiographical. <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of like a diary sort of thing. Um, so I just kind of sit down and think, things just come to me really. And I just... which, which was the me melody on the guitar first or was it the, the lyrics? Um, kind of a bit of both. I'll probably strum a few chords and then start thinking of like words that might fit and things like that. Right. You know? And which school do you go to in Bourne? I go to Bourne Academy. Do they all know that you are on the radio tonight or you kept it hush hush? Um, I've told a few people, a few friends from school. Do you want to give a shout out to anybody who, who may be listening in? Uh, give a shout out to uh, Helen if she's listening. Yeah. What about Mum? Yeah, Mum. No, can't, can't, well. can't forget Mum. <laughs> no, can't forget Mum. No, that's so, right. So, yeah. so what's the first uh, song you're going to do for us this evening? Uh, I'm going to do one called Fool. Okay, when you're ready. Self-explanatory, really, fools. <laughs> no, I can't really say what's this song about. <laughs> fools.
so recently uh, you've, you've played up the uh, Key Theatre Glass House. Yes, I have, yes. How did you come by that gig then? Uh, David Pleasant, um, he, uh, well, my dad posted on the Facebook page asking for a PA system and David Pleasant commented and he uh, said that he had one and he also like looked at some of my music and so ended up like messaging and asking if I'd like to Excellent. Was well, this a PA system from one of your gigs, or was it a PA system for somebody else's gig in different gig entirely? Uh, for my gigs, was it? yeah. So, so where was you gigging at the time then? Um, so we just got it so I could um, start getting out yeah, there yeah. and doing more yeah, gigs. Yeah, yeah. So, so have you have you gigged out over over in Bourneway? Done, uh, done any sets over that way? Yeah, I've done a. I've done the Wild Heart Music Cafe. They sometimes do acoustic nights, uh -huh. so I've done a few gigs there. I've done the Corn Exchange. Um, well, that must have been quite a, uh, a, a big gig then. Uh, yeah, it was quite big. Yeah, I sort of did um, just did a 15-minute set at the start of that. Um, and I also did my school's talent show, which I won as well. Did you? Yeah. Was that like sort of like a Battle of the Bands evening and stuff like that? Uh, yeah, kind of. There was like dancers and everything. And, yeah. Bit of a school's X Factor then sort of yeah. thing. <laughs> so... so You've got your, your your confidence to uh, go out there and do it. You're not intimidated by them to uh, stand up in front of an audience and, and uh, perform. Um, it is a bit nerve wracking, but I kind of more enjoy it than I do get nervous because it's I find it just enjoyable. I like to share my music to an audience. So, so it's a little bit scary for a start, but once you get into yeah. it, you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm away now. Yeah. <laughs> So the gig at the uh, Corn Exchange in Bourne, was you supporting somebody else? or? Uh, there was a few of the bands playing, but the headlining band was Albion. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. Albion, they've been on the show. Yeah, it was their EP yeah. release gig, so yeah. Yeah, a nice bunch of uh, lads they are. Yeah. So uh, are you going to be aiming, because they have a festival in Bourne every year, don't they not? Uh, yeah, there's the Bourne Beer Festival, yeah. Yeah. Are you, what about that one? Um, I'm not doing that one this year, but I am doing Rippingale Beer Festival. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I've done that... Um, Two years running now. So. What what date is that? Can you remember? Um, can't remember now. It's sometime in September. Sometime in September. Yeah. yeah. Is it all in the marquee or is it in the pub or? Uh, it's on a field in Riffingham. <laughs> right. September's a bit dodgy for weather, so I take it they have got a marquee here and there. Yeah, there's like um. A tent kind of thing. <laughs> oh, fair enough, yeah. Right. So, what, so what, what's the next song you're going to do for us this evening? Uh, the next song I'm going to do is Smoke, and it's a new one that I wrote. I wrote yeah, it now, Smoke is a bit more sort of uh, interesting, so what's this one about then? Um, I don't know really. I just kind of wrote it. I tend to write stuff and then sort of realise what it's about further down the line. So you you wrote it. You've got all the words, but you're not quite sure what it's about. Mm. <laughs> so shall we? Because Leona's dad in here. Shall we analyse this song as we go along then and see if we can come up with some sort of <laughs> hidden meaning in it? What do you think? Yeah, we can do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so off you go then. Before 
empty box it's on to is full I'm getting through and if my box is full yours can be Oh, sweet voice. Thank you. So, uh, what's your aim? Do you, would you, do you, uh, would you like to be a professional museum? A uh, museum, <laughs> musician. Don't know where that slipped to. Do you want to be a professional museum? It's a good film though, this the, uh, <laughs> the museum. If we just go and watch it, but uh, go on back to your music. <laughs> would you like to be a professional musician? Yeah, I would. Yeah, it would be nice. <laughs> but you're not studying uh, music at school. No, I'm not. No. Why, why did you not choose to study uh, music at school? I prefer to sort of keep it my own thing, to sort of me to like work on myself and enjoy myself and sort of learn, like teach myself how mm -hmm. to sort of do it. So it is, it's like a sort of a private thing in, in their own way, you don't want anybody sort of interfering with it in, yeah. a, in a way. Yeah. And it, it's, it's really, really enjoyable, so you just sort of uh, just want to uh, keep it to yourself sort of thing. Yeah. So, you you were bought in a CD for us this evening as well. Yes, so, I did. so whereabouts did you record the CD? Uh, I recorded that um, a guy called Kieran Jordan, who also goes. He's a musician himself. Mm -hmm. um, he goes by the name of Andrew on my Oh yeah, I know Kieran. Yeah, he recorded yeah. it for me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at his little studio in his house. Yeah. yeah. Sort of a big guy, ginger hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And how many tracks are on your CD? Uh, four. Four. It's four tracks on there, yeah. And can people get hold of it if they want to get hold of it? Um, I will be releasing it soon. Oh um, yeah, so this is a bit of an exclusive, is it? Yeah. <laughs> but, is, but is that the uh, finished item in there? Yeah, that is. Oh, yeah. you're playing all the same four songs, so not on the CD because you've got to be a bit careful. Yeah, that's. Um, <laughs> <to>. <laughs> you've already played two. <laughs> um, no, I haven't. Um, I've played some. I've actually fools who that I played at the start. You that's, did. That's on the CD. That's track one. I so, don't know what track it is. It is, actually, so that's but... what I'm going to do. So if I sort of uh, move them along a little bit. This this day is a good one. Yeah, this do. day is. The next one's My Shoes. That's a good one. Play, this day is a good yeah, one. Yeah, play this day. This day. This day. Yeah. That's, that's the one. So uh, tell us about this one then before we play it. Um, well, this one I wrote. 
I actually wrote the night before um, I went to record at Kieran's. Did you? Yeah. So, yeah, that was, was I didn't know if it was going to work out or not, but it ended up actually being one of my, my favourite tracks. It turned out all right. Yeah. Is there only yourself on the uh, CD? Was there sort of a uh, company, like drums and, and the stuff uh, like that? There's some drums, yeah. There's some drums. So did Kieran play the drums in there as well? Uh, you got somebody else in to play the drums for you? They're like edited in. They're oh, added in, aren't they? Yeah, added in. Mixed in. Sort of electronic sort of drums. Yeah. Anyway, shall we have a listen? Yeah. Then we'll, we'll, we'll judge a Kieran sound engineering skills <laughs> at the same time. Then. 